Hey, this is Bishal Sarkar. Just came back from a ride. Also, while on the road, I had a lot of um, great fun, great wind on the on the face. And I stopped by at this particular ice cream parlor. Uh, right now, it's 12:05 a.m. So I'm talking about about half an hour ago when I stopped at the ice cream parlor, um, and I had a great, great uh, watermelon flavored ice cream. Loved it and I do that often because I love enjoying my life and and one of the ways I enjoy my life a lot is to celebrate other people by by helping other people win as well. Um, I'm sure you are the same way. I'm sure you love seeing other people win and that's why you're watching the video. So what I did just a few days ago is I reconnected with one of my friends. Um, I call her Shoto, S-H-O-T-O. Um, that's not her... Uh, uh, legal name though that's that's what people call her people who are friends with her people people who are her family members and friends and I connected with her after like uh, probably probably after about 15 years or more and we were talking on the phone just a couple of weeks ago and it was a great thing you know today with social media you can connect with people that's amazing and what I did today is I got a call from her and she was like oh my god I'm so happy why was she happy? Very simple. I actually sent her a couple of dry fruits, two packets of them. Uh, but more than the dry fruits, what I did is I actually sent her a, a personal note. Like, you know, you write something and, and you send it. So it was a printed one, but I sent it to her and she was very happy. She was happy about it. See, I love when people are happy around me. I love to make people happy. Um, and this brings me to the lesson for today so often people think that it's all about i just have to do things for people i have to do things for people it's not the right thing it's not the right way to think about it understand this old quote that i read many years ago that literally changed my life and how i see communication how i build relationship with people today remember this quote people will forget what you said people will forget what you did but people will never forget how you made them feel. I'm going to repeat that for you. People will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But they will never forget how you made them feel. So, I mean, sending anything is not a big deal. You can just go online, send it to people. You can think about it. You can do that. You can plan accordingly. Yet, yeah, you know, you can pay a little bit of money and you can do that when you have that freedom for yourself. But more than the gift is the writing, some personal things that make her, made her smile, that made it really special for her. And I do that for people. Whenever I'm sending a gift or a letter or an SMS to a friend, I want to make sure that it has some personalization. So the question I have for you is, what are you doing right now to personalize yourself? What are you doing to personalize your message? In your presentation, what are you doing to make sure that people in the audience feel connected with you? Maybe you can use their name instead of saying, the next point we are talking about, say, so, so Rohan, the next point we talk about now, things like that. Anything you can do to connect with people and engage people because at the end of the day, we are here for what? To build great connection. All the things that you do, all the money that you make, all the crores of people, rupees that you might make every month or every year or even lakhs or thousand, whatever. Um, we are doing it to create a better life so we can connect with more people so we can be happy. And you can do that right now as well. So just like um, I did for this friend, I love her as a friend. I love my friends very well. I want to make sure that my friends feel special whenever they connect with me, whether on a phone call, text message, face to face. I want to make sure always that I create an experience for them. And if you can do that, things will really, really be great because they will win, you will win and everybody wins together. That's how you can engage with people and surprise your friends in a better way than you're doing right now. So make sure when you go home tonight, bring something special for your spouse, bring something special for your children. Not just a chocolate, but maybe a small little chewing gum which has a story attached to it. And you're going to tell them that, you know what, this big bubble gum, this boomer, this big bubble, um, I used to have it as a child and today I'm going to tell you a story. Then maybe you can give them another thing. So things like that create an experience for people so that they remember. Because people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But they will never forget how you made them feel. I hope you make it an awesome day.